Hey everybody, welcome to our Kai presentation on Exo Studio, a virtual production and live streaming system for immersive instructional experiences. This is work done at the University of Michigan in my lab, the Michigan Information Interaction Lab, and is co-sponsored by the Extended Reality Initiative at the University of Michigan. I'm Michael Nebeling. I'm Shweta Rajaram. I'm Li Wei Wu. I'm Yifei Chen. And we also have Jaden Herskovich as authors on this paper. So a good bunch of authors are present and we wanted to co-present this work to you. So we started off with some background research um, to help with the requirements elicitation. Um, we looked at different taxonomies of um, MOOC videos and also did a competitive analysis of some live streaming software to get some ideas there. Um, and then we talked to some key stakeholders to um, figure out what they would actually want in a system like XR Studio, um, particularly instructors um, who use XR for teaching and also media designers who have a lot of experience using um, live streaming software and compositing videos of instructors. Yeah, our system contains two clients, one for the instructor and one for the student. And for, in the instructor client, we, um, object the input of the instructor and then doing segmentation and get calibration, sorry, calibration, calibration into one live composition of the virtual thing, including all the contents, the instructors and, um, and the, their lecture slides. And then we store all the live composition into a cloud recording. So the students can view the contents later or they can join the same session at the same time. In the student client, they can choose to choose a live lecture, replay the stream, or they can replay the recorded um, lecture content in the cloud. And they can also view the lecturing content in VR or AR. Finally, if the students choose to choose the, uh, join the live stream with the instructor, they can also chat with their instructor lively, both in text, audio, and video through WebRTC streaming. So XS Studio internally, the, one of the reasons we call it XS Studio is it's actually a fully self-contained little virtual film studio. You can actually set up multiple cameras. The default scene that we'll use in uh, some of our examples actually contains a number of different cameras with angles on the slides, with angles on the 3D content, with angles on the instructor both from behind, always following the instructor and then through the slides for the clear board kind of view. So you can have multiple virtual cameras. There were also ideas uh, that I didn't uh, fully realize in this paper of actually setting up virtual camera tracks. Uh, so really, I think in the future, Access Studio could be even a more powerful uh, system to uh, support more professional recordings, but then you probably also need multiple people. The most important part here, Access Studio can be used by just an instructor by themselves. Okay, so we ran two evaluations, one with uh, students and one with media designers. So with the media designers, it was with the same group of media designers that um, we met with for our formative studies. So we went through a walkthrough with them and elicited some feedback from that. And with the students, we conducted a remote study with three groups of four to five master students. And um, Basically, we evaluated three conditions. You can refer to the paper for more details in regards to the study results. We discussed both the advantages and disadvantages of all three conditions. Um, generally speaking, uh, students did prefer um, XR Studio most. Um, I just wanted to highlight a few interesting findings that I thought were um, worthwhile mentioning. So um, the mixed reality capture condition was conducive to reducing some of the feelings of nausea that was commonly associated with first-person VR. Um, slides are still regarded as a very effective way of delivering information. And uh, many times students wanted that as a reference as well. And um, one kind of limitation we found with the mixed reality capture condition is students sometimes found the camera viewpoint changes confusing. Um, so that's just to say that the viewpoint changes must be targeted and this could be remedied with um, additional feedback beforehand to let their students kind of prepare themselves for a viewpoint change. All right, so this was Exo Studio uh, and uh, would have been fun to present it at Kai. It was a fun collaboration involving a lot of uh, student effort here. And so this was really one of my favorite projects um, that I've done so far. So thanks for uh, watching and please reach out if you wanna learn more about Exo Studio.